As you might know, SharePoint Online has specific themes that you can pick from to change the colors of your site. They are limited though, and you might need a specific color um, based on your corporate branding or your CI manual. So if I go to settings wheel and I go to change the look, you'll see theme header and navigation. And of course, some of you lucky people has a footer there as well that can be edited. I'm still waiting for mine. So if I go to theme, there's the themes that I can pick from. So even if I pick a specific theme, I can still do some limited um, configuration to change the accent color or the main color. But you might want a specific color. Now, the first thing that I did do, of course, is that I went to PowerPoint before we get to PowerShell. And in PowerPoint, I then worked with an image where I wanted to use a specific color. So this image that you see here, I actually got from Design Seeds. I use Design Seeds, it's a website and that publishes these cool images um, quite often for some inspiration on colors. And I just picked one of those uh, images to pick the color from. And uh, I want to use this interesting, I actually don't know what that is, is a greenish color. And um, what I then did is I inserted a shape and I color picked the color from that image. So all I did is I went color picker eyedropper, picked the color, and then I went to um, the color to get the RGB code. And this is what I just pasted there to use. So that's the RGB code. Um, you can use a hex um, RGB converter to get the hex code, but actually the theme generator um, makes it quite easy for you. So once I've picked the color and uh, I've got the hex code for it, all the RGB codes, I can then go back to the theme generator, which is under um, the Microsoft Fabric, where you can go and change things on your themes. So if I go to the theme generator, this is where I would actually paste that code in. I can also paste the red, green, blue codes, which really helps me a lot. It'll then generate this code for me at the bottom that I can use. And I must admit to you, up until about two hours ago, this is the closest I've ever come to a PowerShell in my life. And I have to uh, say thank you to Sharon Wilkin for uh, inspiring me to do this blog post today. <laughs> she made me go and figure out how to do this. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see the palettes that it's going to use. And I can even look at this, uh, what these uh, speech bubbles and things will look like. So uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this code. And um, I'm then going to go to my um, notepad. Now, please remember, you can use Notepad++ plus plus as well. The first thing you have to do is I want you to add that text before the code that you paste. So I'm going to just paste this code here. So there's the piece that I added before it. And um, here is the section that I'm adding at the back of it. Now, that bit of text there actually allows me to give a name to the theme. So there you can see there's the code, the command. And I'm going to give this um, a nice name. So I still don't know what I'd call that. Um, ancient green I think so that'll be the name of my theme what you have to do next is that you have to download the SharePoint online management shell and uh, there's the address for it as well and you'll see if I go to that <clears throat> there we go there's the SharePoint online management shell so you just have to download that and install it and uh, once you've done that you can then open that on your machine so SharePoint online management shell and the first thing you have to do is you have to actually run this command so that you can authenticate and log in so you'll see here it is connect and please remember change that word tenant with your actual tenant name so going back I'm going to paste that and I'm going to just change that with my tenant name once you enter then of course it's going to authenticate you need to have global um, admin rights um, well SharePoint global admin rights to be able to use this and there we go authenticated so now I can go and um, I'm gonna copy all of this so this is the code I got from the theme generator I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to just paste that in here and press enter There we go. So um, if I go back to my SharePoint site now, you'll actually see, I don't even have to update anything. I'm going to just go to settings, change the look, 
theme and look at that ancient green <laughs> i'm so impressed with myself i've always been the powerpoint girl and look at me doing powershell today i know it's most probably not what you consider as powershell but for me it's a big step one small step for man one giant leap for cupcake i'd say so here's uh, some inspiration as well as i said i use design seeds um to uh, to do some cool things but of course you can just uh, maybe have your logo or something and pick a color from that to get uh, the rgb or the hex code and then also um, pexels is a site that i use to download um, incredible images that i use for my sites so here i just searched for teal and i got a lot of cool pictures that i can actually use on my sites and then also remember um, if you don't think that you're very creative or great with colors just go and uh, browse for the color wheel and the color opposite the color that you're using for your theme is normally the most complementary color you can add so for example if my site is uh, these type of colors then i can promise you these pinks and reds are the most complementary colors that you can actually add to that color to make it uh, look quite amazing so great great uh, learning curve for me today is i use the theme generator and i installed the sharepoint online uh, management shell and then a big shout out to uh and i hope i'm going to pronounce this right yaroslav pensarki i'm not quite sure but uh, i found this video on in youtube that really helped me to uh to get this right and to learn this new skill so thank you so much it was a great video it was easy to follow especially for someone who's not a developer like me i'm just a citizen developer but who can now also use powershell a little bit of it so thank you very much and uh, i hope your idea of, um, the idea of uh, being able to customize the theme of your site is going to bring you lots of joy chat soon